In this video, we're going to look at making a dual unit conversion using dimensional analysis. When I say dual unit, I simply mean there are two units that we are working with. For example, if you're driving a car, you're driving so many miles per hour. Miles and hours, we have two units, or a dual unit in this problem. And the important thing we know about dual units is the word per is the fraction bar. When we see miles per hour, we put the miles over hours. Miles per hour, per is that fraction bar. And the trick with dual units is we must convert them one at a time. So we'll use one conversion factor to convert the numerator to what we want, and one conversion factor to convert the denominator to what we want. So for example, if we want to convert 35 miles per hour into feet per second, remember per is the fraction bar, so we have 35 miles per, or over, hours. And we want to convert to feet per second, or feet over seconds. This means converting one at a time, converting the numerator miles into the new numerator feet, we get rid of them by putting them in the denominator, and miles are going to change to feet. And off of a conversion chart, we'll see one mile is 5,280 feet. Now the miles divide out, leaving just the feet that we're looking for. We still don't like the hours, though. We want seconds, so we need another conversion factor to get rid of the hours because they're already in the denominator, in the bottom, we'll put them in the numerator on top and change them into seconds. And we can either look up, or you might know that one hour is 3,600 seconds. And the hours divide out, leaving just the seconds we want in the denominator, so we're ready to multiply straight across. In the numerator, 35 times 5,280, on our calculator is 184,800 feet, are the units in the numerator, and 1 times 3,600 seconds is 3,600 seconds. Dividing by the 3,600 gives us 51.3 feet per seconds for our final solution. Converting one unit at a time, with per being the fraction bar. Let's try another example. Here we have 45 ounces per square inch. Again, the per is the fraction bar. 45 ounces per, or over, a square inch. Converting one unit at a time, then, we're going for pounds per square foot. So first, working on the numerator, to get rid of the ounces, they're already on top, they need to go on the bottom, and we want them to become pounds. We can look up our conversion factors, that one pound is 16 ounces, and that way the ounces divide out completely, leaving just the pounds that we're looking for in this problem. But we still need to convert the denominator. To get rid of the square inches, they need to go in the numerator, and we want them to become square feet in the denominator. Be careful as you look up this conversion factor. A common error, students will put 12 inches in one foot, but we're not talking about inches and feet, we're talking about square inches and square feet. We're talking about area, and if you look up that area conversion factor, you'll see one square foot is 144 square inches. Now the square inches divide out, and we're left with the square feet that we want. We're ready to multiply across. In the numerator, 45 times 144 is 6480 pounds. Over in the denominator, 16 times 1 square foot is 16 square feet, 6480 pounds, over 16 square feet. Dividing by 16 on our calculator, we find we have 405 pounds per square foot of pressure is equal to the 45 ounces per square inch. With dual units, per is the fraction bar, and we can convert one at a time.